if you're like me, you've actually bought a lot of things from Gumroad, uh, Kitbash 3D, and what you've usually noticed is all your texture links are broken. Uh, I'm going to show you a real quick way to fix that using the file path editor. So I'm just going to bring in an FBX from Jama Jurabev's uh, medieval pack and bring it in here. So I'm just going to bring in swords from that pack. So let's just look at the swords all together. And basically you'll see that none of the textures are actually loaded at this time. We're going to use Arnold to do some test rendering. So I'm just going to bring in a dome light in HDR for Arnold from my library. Doesn't matter what we use. I'll use something very diffuse in terms of the background. So here we have our light. And now if we render, no textures. It's just gray. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we have our textures. So let me bring in Hypershade. You'll see that my Maya file does contain shaders that Jama had already placed in the scene. And what you're noticing is they're all black and they're basically not linking to where we have the file textures. But before we go into that, let me try something that I've just imported. Uh, right here we have OSD Hotkey. This is a very simple program that will show any of the keyboard commands that I type while working. So, and it's free. So now you can see mouse left, mouse right, mouse hold. And then now I'm just basically select object to display from the shader. And here you can see it's finding the sword that is using that uh, shader. And then here I'm just turning on display texture and you can see they're all grayed out. And then let's control A to switch to attribute editor. And you can see here they do have textures. It's just the file path right now. If we look to the very left, it's on the Z drive, which is possibly where Jama had his saved at, and it remembered that link. So now what we want to do is utilize where I've saved the textures. And if we look at that, you can see that mine is actually on a G drive on my computer. And right here we have textures. So I want to change where the file path is going for these textures. But before we do that, you can see if I select the swords, the shaders aren't being linked. So what I want to do is I want to be able to see what material is using the sword geometry. And that's right here with the assigned material. So you can see here it adds a little node that basically tells you when you select it the node that actually is assigned to that geo at the time. So if you open up any of these and I just select the shader, see now on the bottom it's actually selecting the shader that is using that geometry. Very useful. Used to be a right click command and now that's kind of gone. But now if you go into the hypershade, you can do the reverse and then right click and then select, you know, assign material to that object. So that's the way that you can go back and forth between shader and geometry to make sure which is attached to each. So now let's go to Windows, General Editor, and then what we want is the File Path Editor. Now that gives us a dialog box that we can path the textures to. And here you can see all the textures that are associated with the swords. And what we want to do is select them all, repath files. So you want to click search subdirectories. And then we want to go to browse and then find where our textures are located. So we've got to go back a few folders from the 3D Geo for my folder structure and then medieval, and then we want the swords, and then textures. Go into the file, set, and then now repath. And now you can see everything goes green and automatically it knows where to find the texture files for the shaders that are associated with them. Now if I do a new render, and then we can take a look at the texture files being picked up. So now our Maya file is looking at all the sword assets correctly with its textures assigned. You can look here under one of the swords to make sure the file path is you know correct, but we already see it in our viewfinder, so we know. 
And then here you can see now it's path to my G drive where the folders are actually saved to. And that's it. So that's how you use the file path editor and thank you so much for tuning in.